Welcome back to Dino's Garage for the VFR 800 Crossrunner. Now, as you may remember, last time out we vinyl wrapped both the left hand and right hand panels, um, but there are still a few little details that need to be tackled, some of which I've already done. So let's have a look around this VFR 800 now and see what we've done and what there is still left to do. So, one of the things I wanted to do was to actually change the original screen. When I rode the bike a couple of times, um, I noticed that the, the wind did come over the top of the screen and was sort of buffeting around the right hand side of my crash helmet. It was a bit frustrating, you know, at speed and a bit noisy. So, I've actually acquired this brand new screen for the bike um, and it's a really nice screen. So, let's have a little look at this close up now. So as you can see it's made by a company branded as Ermax or ER Max. Um, really nice in the sense that it's black on this lower section here. Um, got a vent that runs up through. And it's also got the sort of same type of vent that runs through on our standard one. So yeah, the air pushes up through there and up through there as well as. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So a really nice finish um, and just that bit higher than the standard bike so as you can see it sort of scoops up there and pushes the air right over above your head um, yeah I'd probably describe it as a, a touring screen I really like the look of that I also like these these bits here this this shape here uh, again the air will flow up through and around there but I think it just adds a little bit of detail to it as well that actually makes it look that bit different to some of the other sort of a bit uglier if you like sort of sports screens so that's one of the first things that we've done now let's look at something else now one of the other issues we had was with this tank now in pearlescent white lovely paint but we had unfortunately had some marks um, at the, the front of the tank from where the seat meets the tank and probably from the uh, police jacket or whatever it was just to remind you this was a police bike in Guernsey so yeah let's just have a look at what it looked like and as you can see yeah there are those marks there and that's basically where the lacquer has sort of been slightly chipped or rubbed off scratched off the surface of the paint so didn't leave it looking too nice so let's now have a look at what i have done to basically get rid of that problem and so here it is basically a lovely tank protector now this is the jowl type tank protector um fairly thick not just like a sticker and um, goes on really nicely now what i did do was made sure that i cleaned the tank and warmed up that um, two-part sticker um, before putting it down on there got out any air bubbles with a bit of rag yeah really happy with that so again another detail but you know all these things add up to making the bike look really nice again rather than sort of what it was which was a little bit abused a little bit abused right now whilst we want to get those vinyl wrapped parts back on the bike actually there is something that we need to tackle down here whilst they're off so let's get down and have a look at what we're talking about right now what i am referring to is actually this cam cover here now what happens is the rain and the salts splash up in the winter time and it gets onto top of this part here and unless it's washed off and dealt with very quickly over time unfortunately the salt will eat into any paintwork and even any sort of metals eventually that are in this section here so we do have a bit of corrosion as we saw before on the radiator sections the coolant part of the bike um, but today I'm going to tackle this bit here so I'm going to basically rub off the paint that's loose and then we're going to look to try and mask off the bike and then get some spray paint on this section so it all looks nice before we then put the side panels back on because once the side panels are back on 
they do cover a, an area of this that will not be seen um, so yeah it's much easier to do it now so what am I going to use to try and tackle this well I do have a very small wire brush with just uh, brass bristles on it so it's not too harsh not like a steel wire brush these are a bit softer um, and I also have which we use many many times over in so many different ways of cleaning up and sorting out bikes and um, some nice fine wire wool so may not use the fine wire wool I'm going to start with this and then just see how how loose and flaky this paint is and so there we go that is it pretty much all the loose paint taken off with that brass wire brush and you can see there's quite a lot of metal exposed now so I'm going to clean that up make sure there's no loose debris on it maybe even get a little bit of wire wool on the the paint that we can see in a few places that isn't loose just to really put some um, sort of scratches into the surface of that so when I do spray lightly over um, it, it obviously sticks to that paint as well as um, like I say this isn't about perfection but this is about really just sort of getting up and spraying into this area having masked off we're going to be careful today because there's a little bit of breeze and wind so we'll back this into the garage and we'll do it in there um, but it's about sort of getting the paint over this in very light thin coats just so it looks nice from you know this sort of distance so here we are in the garage out of the wind thankfully and I have masked up as you can see around here and we're basically going to use the VHT paint let's just take a look at what I mean so we're going to be using this it's called VHT which is very high temperature black paint and this is a sort of a matte satin type finish um, the reason I'm using this is obviously the cam cover does get very hot it's also you know above the exhaust system so yeah a lot of high temperature in and around that area so this is a paint I'm going to be using um, um, so yeah I'll get on and we'll see what it looks like once I've finished so hopefully you can see in there that I have already painted um, done a couple of coats now so it is a very matte finish which actually looks really nice in there um, yeah hopefully you can see that um, I have also masking off the radiator here and you can see I've masked off both the stanchions and up under this side I have also whilst this has been masked and that's been curing um, I've sprayed a bit of gloss black paint up underneath here because we have these very rusty looking iron um, lower yoke clamps um, and basically they they started to get all sort of rusty looking they don't have much protection of paint on them so I've got up underneath there and just over sprayed with a little bit of gloss black just to tidy that up as well and so we've painted both the cam cover and also as I say we painted a little bit of gloss paint up onto those sort of rusty looking iron lower yokes so let's have a closer look now and see what we've done and so there we are that is the top of the cam cover now all painted in that matte black very high temperature paint so that's all sorted we got three coats thin coats of paint on that area there so that's and so if you can just make out in this light there's no longer any rusty looking paintwork on that area there that all looks nice and glossy and black and when we look down here excuse me because I've disconnected the camera from the tripod so we're on walkabout that is how our head now looks the cam cover so looks really nice no flaky paint whatsoever and hopefully that will hold up 
and the way this paint cures it it will cure after about 10 hours naturally you can speed up the process by actually running the engine and allowing it to cure that way personally I prefer it to cure naturally and then once you go out on the bike it will heat up and also help harden and cure the paint so that's that unfortunately whilst cleaning the bike on this area here we have got a little bit of paint that's flaked off now all of the rest is good and we've already painted the front face here so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to rub this little bit of flaky paint off and I'll get in here with a brush and spray some paint into the cap and then just apply it with a brush just to tidy that up and help protect it but as you can see moisture's got underneath and it's sort of blown the alloy of the cam cover um, and that's why you see all of that sort of white powdery look to it and that's why it expanded and blistered and blew the paint off so I'm going to get in there and just make that look that much better with a brush and some paint right so now we've done that painting down there on that cam cover and also that lower yoke we can get on and think about putting the side panels back on the bike but before we do that we need to spend a little bit of time cleaning the frame and cleaning any area around here where once the side, of side panels back on that won't be seen but you know we might as well take the opportunity to clean it and make it good now because let's be honest once that side panel is back on we're probably not going to take that off unless we ever need to take the tank off so let's get on and do a little bit of that now then we can put the side panels back on so these are the areas that I'm talking about that you once the plastics are over the top of all of this you can't get in and polish properly all of this is covered over we do have a little bit of surface rust here and I'll put a little bit of cure rust on that there where the paint's actually broken away because of the, the rust. But like I say, you won't really get the opportunity to do that once it's all on because it'll all be covered over and it comes down to here. This is why there's a little bit of wear on the frame. So again, I've cleaned out a bit of the frame and that's it really, just a little bit of prep before we click that back into place. Right, so I finally got it on and it, it was a bit of a pig to be honest because it's all to do with these three locating sort of clips that go into this black plastic bit behind here. So you can't see what you're doing. You have to sort of slide it onto this bit here, make sure this tab is on your tank already. And then as you push it forward, these three locating pins drop into slots and then as you push forward they sort of lock in position but I couldn't get the last one right up front to locate so I really had to put some pressure on this back corner to get it to push up and then finally it dropped in and then you have also a little um, sort of expanding plug type connector that goes in behind here and holds that in place and then you connect all of your black trim onto the back of this section here um, and with that in there that is it and you've got one one fixing on there so that's that in place I just now need to put the fixings on there let's have a, a quick look at how it looks from another angle so there it is with the the white panel the vinyl wrapped panel now on the bike so we basically have this pearlescent color then we have the black and then we have the sort of matte satin type pearlescent finish as well as um, it looks better close up and when you catch it from a certain angle you can see the pearlescent color um, which is a matte sort of satin against the gloss pearlescent and yeah works really nicely looks really good um, I hope you agree but it certainly looks better than having three holes in this section here and uh, yeah I like I like the look of it we've done a lot of tidying up today I'm going to get on and put the other side on now I um, mean there's still quite a bit I can do in this lovely sunny relatively warm day so let's crack on And so there we are, that is both side panels now in place. 
I just need to put all the little sort of screws and fixings in to secure them. So that's that done. Um, I've got some stickers to put on the side, some decals, so we'll, we'll get on with those as well this afternoon. So for now, thanks for watching Dino's Garage and I hope you enjoyed what we've done so far with the Crossrunner. Um, stay tuned and thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.